Hello everybody, this is Corbin from Zoco Marketing. In today's video, I am going to be going over everything LinkedIn ads tracking. Um, I'm going to be going over all of these different things in here. Let me show you real quick. So today we're gonna to be going over how to add the LinkedIn Insights tag using Google Tag Manager. This is LinkedIn's basically uh, tag that goes through on every page of your website to track website visits. After we um, add that, we're going to, I'm gonna show you how to track a conversion from a URL. So based on a URL, how to track that conversion, like a thank you page or a confirmation page. And then finally, I'm going to show you how to track a button click inside of LinkedIn or on your website inside of LinkedIn, just in case you don't uh, have a thank you page or whatever it may be. So I'll be showing you each of those um, instances and it should give you everything that you need to be able to build um, your conversion tracking for LinkedIn. So let's jump right in. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is obviously create your LinkedIn account if you haven't already. Um, once you get logged in, you will see something similar to this. And um, where we're gonna to wanna to go is over here to account assets, and we're gonna to go to conversions. And we're gonna try that again because I guess that didn't click. <laughs> And as you can see, I have not created any conversions yet. Um, you don't wanna create a conversion yet because I, you don't even have the insights tag on your website. Uh, so we're gonna go to tag domains right here. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm gonna hide this. And we're going to install my insight tag. So we're gonna click right here. And we're gonna choose the uh, option for, I will use Google Tag Manager. And what it's gonna do is you're gonna give us a partner ID and copy this right here, and I'll show you just how easy it is to add the Insight tag to your website using Google Tag Manager. Now, you're gonna come over to Google Tag Manager. You're gonna wanna go to, uh, I'm already in the tags view, but you'll probably see something like this when you first log in. Um, you can either hit new tags right here or tag over here. I'm gonna hit add new tag. I'm going to call this LinkedIn Insights tag. Then we're going to configure this. We're going to search for LinkedIn right here. Right there. And what we're gonna do is copy and paste that ID that it just gave us. And so that is everything you need to do for the tag configuration. Then for the trigger, you want to add that to all pages. So I'm gonna click all pages right there and we are going to save this. And if you would like, you can preview it to make sure it's firing. So we're gonna hit preview real quick. And then we go back to Google Tag Manager, hit continue, and there it is. Our LinkedIn Insight tag is firing on our website, so we are good to go there. Um, I am going to now publish this. I'm gonna hit submit here. Let's call this LinkedIn Insights. Type. Publish that. So that is the first step, that is done. We have now done the first step here, which is added the um, insight tag using Google Tag Manager. Now we're going to, I'm gonna show you how to track a conversion from a URL. And what that looks like is, so I have this test form on my website. If somebody enters their name and then email and submits, you'll notice that my, my URL changes to thank-u. And if you have something like this, like a form that goes to a thank you or a confirmation page, um, I'm going to show you exactly how to track that. So we got the thank dash you. I'm going to copy this right here. We're going to go back over to LinkedIn. And we're going to hit I'm done here. And then we're going to click on conversions. And uh, this can take up to 24 hours to populate. So if you don't see any data there, not a worry at all. Um, this could take a little bit of time to update in there. We're going to click on conversions. We're going to go create conversions. And I'm going to call this my test form because that's exactly what it is, test form. And uh, we're gonna call this a lead or uh, yeah, lead right there. And if you want to assign a certain amount, maybe you're selling a course or something that's $100, you could add a dollar value here. I'm not going to in this case. For attribution window, I do recommend keeping this at a 30 day click or a seven day view. Unless for whatever reason, you do have a specific reason to change that, you could. Um, but this is just saying uh, for a conversion, if a click happens, if somebody clicks on your website and then 90 days, in the next 90 days converts, uh, LinkedIn will count that as a conversion inside their platform. 
Um, so typically you don't, you don't want to go too far with that. And same with views. If somebody views your ad and then converts on your website in the next 90 days, LinkedIn could count that as a conversion. So I like to keep these at the default right where they're at. And, um, I keep it at uh, last touch for each campaign, just the default that it's at. Now, the next thing you're going to do is if you have a lot of campaigns here, if you're going back and adding this conversion, you can go and add it to all of your existing campaigns. Um, as you can see here, this is just a test account. So I only have the one test um, campaign selected. So I'm going to leave that there. And here's the first option we're going to go to. We're going to use the site-wide tagging to create this uh, uh, conversion. Uh, next, I'm going to show you how to use this option right here for the button click. And all we're going to do is we're going to simply click this and we're going to hit contains and then uh, paste in the string of our URL. For us, it's thank you. Some of you might be confirmation or thanks or whatever it may be. And so there we have our thank you. And I'm going to put this there and I'm going to hit create now. And give this a second. And now our test form is created and um, it has the amount of campaigns that are in there. And then once again, it's saying no signals, but give that about 24 hours. Uh, oftentimes it's even sooner than that. And you should see signals coming through as people fill out the form on your website. So that is the second thing that we've gone through. Now you know how to track a U, uh, conversion from a URL. Now the third thing is how to track a conversion from a button click. And where this may be helpful is actually on my website, um, this is something that I need to use because when I click right here, it actually takes them to a Calendly link where they can book an appointment with me. It doesn't stay on my site. So as you see, if I click this button right here, it goes over to a Calendly link, which is not inside of my site. So um, we're going to hit back here. So in order to track this button click, the first thing we're going to need to do is define a variable um, that Google can use to identify when somebody clicks this button right here. And um, we're going to be using, the way we're going to be doing that is through Google Tag Manager. And I'm going to be walking through step-by-step -step on how to figure out what the variable might be for this button and then how to implement it. So the first thing is we're going to go to, over to Google Tag Manager and we're going to go into a preview mode for our website. And once preview mode opens up, what it's gonna do is it's gonna open up a, a view inside of here in Google Tag Manager. And then it's also going to take us to our website where um, maybe it will, unless it takes too long here. There we go, now it's loading up. We're gonna hit continue. We're gonna go over to our site and what we want to do is replicate what a user would be doing on our site if they were doing the conversion action that we're. So if you had your button down here or whatever, you just go down here and click your button. But for our case, we're just going to click this button just like a user would so that Google Tag Manager can collect the data that's associated with that click. So I'm going to hit book appointment here. And then we're going to go back over to Google Tag Manager, um, back to this view. And you'll notice in this left-hand column, now we have a link click right here. And that was the click that was associated with our um, button. So we're going to click on this link click. And we're going to click variables right here. And as we scroll down, what we're doing is we're looking for a variable on this left-hand side that's something that's unique with our button click. And in this case, for a lot of people, a very easy one might be the click text. If the click text on your button is unique for that specific one and you wanted to track that, you could do that as well. Or there's a form ID sometimes with, uh, or a form ID right here. Mine doesn't have one in this case. And so we're going to make this easy and we're just going to do it based off of the click text equals book appointment. So we're going to remember that right now. We're going to come back to it in here just a, in a second. Now that we know we can track that button click, we're going to go back over to um, LinkedIn and we're going to create a conversion. We're going to call this book appointment. And we're going to have this be a sign up. Um, this one does have a conversion value because when somebody signs up to book an appointment with me, I charge them $90 uh, for the, the appointment. So there's a conversion value associated with that. We're going to leave these settings as is for the campaigns tracked. You can click into the campaigns that you wanted to um, have this conversion event fire. And then here is where we change it up a little bit. So instead of using this site-wide tagging and then putting in the URL, obviously, because we don't have a URL in this case, we're going to use this event-specific pixel um, to track the button. And we're going to copy this, but we're going to edit a little, edit this a little bit in order for it to work here. So we're going to copy this. We're going to go over to Google Tag Manager. And then now we're going to create a new tag. 
and we're going to call this book appointment. Oh, that did something weird. Button click. And then we are going to configure this tag. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here and you want this custom image. Custom image is the one that we're looking for for the tag configuration. Then we're going to copy the uh, code that we got from LinkedIn. But what we're going to do is we're going to delete everything after the GIF. So after GIF, we're deleting that part. And then we're going to scroll up to the top and we're going to delete everything before the HTTPS. So you want to delete both of those. So we're going to delete all of this stuff until it's just HTTPS and then it ends in GIF right at the back there. And we're going to leave all these settings the same. And then for our trigger, what we're going to do is we're going to click in here and we're going to add a new trigger. And this is going to be called um, button click. Button click um, book appointment. And we're going to do uh, all elements here, some clicks, and uh, we're gonna have click text contains, and we're going to do our, oops, we're gonna go back over to this little um, uh, preview mode that we did, and we're going to copy this booked appointment under the clicks text. And only the, not what's, not the actual parentheses, but, or the commas or whatever those are called, um, but just the booked appointment part. We're going to come back over here to Google Tag Manager, click, um, click text equals, and then paste that in there. And what this, what's that saying is if this button, if somebody, if a user clicks a button that has the click text booked appointment, then fire this conversion inside of um, Google, inside of LinkedIn. So that's what we're doing is save these inside of here. If for whatever reason you aren't seeing clicks when you go into preview mode, I'll just show you real quick how to do that. Um, if you aren't seeing clicks, stay here. I'm gonna save this. If when you're inside of preview mode, oh, that didn't save the, it didn't save the changes that I made. Okay, let me go back here real quick and copy this again. It's probably better if you do this in like a notepad or something instead of editing it inside of here. Um, we're going to delete that and then we're going to come over and delete all of this. So it starts with HTTPS and then save that. Okay, and now um, if for whatever reason you're not seeing the clicks when, when you're inside of preview mode, if you're not seeing clicks over here in this left-hand side, what you need to do is you need to go to Google Tag Manager, you need to go to Variables and you need to enable all of the click variables. So as you see, I have all these click variables enabled, but if you come in here to configure, you can see uh, enable all of these clicks right here and probably the forms as well, but click all those buttons and then you should be able to see the clicks from there. Um, just a quick little tip about Google Tag Manager. But once we have um, that tag all inside of there, as you see, it's in preview. So we are going to um, preview this again. So we're gonna hit preview. It's going to load back up on our site and then we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go and click on that button and make sure that Google Tag Manager is now firing an event for that button click. So we're going to wait just a second for this to load in. We're going to hit continue. And as you see here, we don't have any clicks because we haven't clicked on the site yet. But now, so we have one through five. When we come back over here to the site and we click book appointment. And then we come back over here to Google Tag Manager. Notice how we have these, this click and this link click. If we click inside of here, we should see our um, tag firing inside of the click right there. So book appointment app click has now fired and um, we have successfully, we are now successfully tracking that button click. All that's left to do is for us to go back over to Google Tag Manager and submit that, uh, uh, that code. So we're gonna call this button click. Click LinkedIn, publish that. And also don't forget to come over here to back to LinkedIn and create this event. And give it just a second. I'm not sure why it's not showing up here. I'm gonna refresh this page and it should be inside of here. And there it is. So there's our booked appointment uh, set. So now we have are now tracking form fields and we are tracking that button click. 
um, and we have our value over here of $90. Um, hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you and basically everything that you need to know to get off the ground with uh, LinkedIn tracking. And um, don't forget to subscribe if you want more video tutorials like these and we'll see you in the next video.